Good afternoon, visitors. Right now, coming through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the Paul Archigertha. The Paul Archigertha was built as the William J. Delancey in 1981 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She is powered by two 8,040 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 60 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Paul Archigertha has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet and weighs 6 tons each. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 71,300 tons. Above her deck is a 260 foot self unloading boom which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Paul Archigertha is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Named in honor of the Vice by the bridge. It is the most common of the ship signal exchanges. If you see any crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave and welcome them back to Duluth. Today they are doing their usual, which is going to uh, Superior Midwest Energy Terminal, where they are going to be loading up on coal. They will likely be taking that coal over to uh, Monroe, Michigan, and uh, St. Clair, Michigan, where they have some uh, power plants that operate on coal. Named in honor of the Vice Chairman of Interlake Steamship Company, the Chagurtha is known as the Queen of the Lakes for being the longest vessel on the Great Lakes. She was built in two sections, which were joined at American Shipyard's Lorraine, Ohio Yard, um, ending the sh shipyard's longest history of Great Lakes shipbuilding. The Chagurtha was built for $60 million and became the flagship of Interlake Steamship Company. She was rechristened with her current name in 1990 to reflect Interlake's newer owner. But once again, coming through the Duluth, through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the Polar to Gertha, 1,013 feet 6 inches, on their way to load coal over at Superior Midwest Energy Terminal. Wave if you see anybody up top, and if you cheer and scream loud enough, maybe they'll give you a master salute, I don't know. Maybe they'll leave you hanging. Just start chanting, Master Salute, Master Salute. Exactly! Keep chanting, Master Salute, Master Salute. Sorry to disappoint, guys. They didn't do it. 